Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, for those that don't know me, my name is Francesca, welcome. In this channel, we will be talking about relationships, about social intelligence and mental health, and a lot more. I'm not gonna lie, most of my viewers are men, so I'm going to be dedicating most of my content to help men. But hopefully, women can also watch and learn something out of these conversations. Today, we're going to be talking about why is that men can no longer trust most women out there. And I, I've been dying to make uh, this content. This is gonna be like the first of many, many, many different to come. I've been binging like crazy on a lot of these, you know, manosphere, a lot of these men channels, men made for, for men to, to help other men you know, get better. And I mean, I, I have a lot of guy friends. I'm the kind of girl that has a lot. I already know what people are going to say on the, on the comments, but I'm the kind of girl that has a lot of, uh, I get along with guys more than girls. Um, and you'll understand why not because they say like, Oh, a girl that has a lot of guy does, does, does a red flag. Maybe in most cases, maybe in most cases, I am a bit of a black rice and the, you know, the, the black thing on the, on the rice. So, but I'm not going to lie. A lot of our tendencies are very alike. The difference between one woman and another, I think it just really goes down to upbringing. That's just the bottom line, you know. Um, I feel like women, modern women these days, um, grew up pretty much alone. Uh, most, most of us have uh, two working parents. And I feel that uh, that has a lot to do with the fact that a lot of these women, a lot of these women grew up with divorced parents. A lot of these women didn't have a, a, a parent. They have like a lot of daddy issues. They don't have a parent present in the home. Parents are not talking to their children, etc., etc. But yeah, what I was going to say is that although I have a lot of guy friends and I have get along with the guys a lot more, one of the reasons is because the guys tend to be more loyal and I see a lot more quality in men now that I've been seeing these videos. Even me as experiencing, like, I kind of knew a lot of these things, like, unconsciously, but now I'm, like, mind blown by all of this because I'm like, wow, like, I, n I never thought about it like this, like, a big part of me still wanted to think that, you know, women, women were just being victimized by men. Women were just being go, putting, being put through a lot of these situations. I like to see a lot of the psychological aspects of things. So I do, yeah, like the more videos I see, the more I do realize it's like, okay, yeah, just because if, if one, if, if like one out of 10 women is a good woman, then it's, it's pointless to use them as the example or to use them as the, you know, it's kind of like we are speaking to 90% of women that are literally not freaking getting it these days. All you have to do is just like go on TikTok and see how fucking batch of crazy women are. Sometimes we just don't, I feel like our hormones are just vicious and women by nature, we're just very like. Like even when you see an animal behave like even even female animals are kind of like very like hmm. <laughs> I want this. <laughs> this is I guess an introduction video. I made a quick list. I don't want to make this video very long. I pretty much have I'm gonna be going interacting to a lot of these videos that you know I'll probably show you guys a few screen of things that it's 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 infinite. It's infinite the amount of videos of these women. It's just so crazy. They are so oblivious. They are so unaware of how they are that they will literally go ahead and do TikToks about it. And they, 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 it's just the process of like them editing the video and then posting it and realize like, oh man, I am so right. I, I, I am totally, there's absolutely nothing wrong with me. There was no way another prospect guy will see this video and think, yeah, that woman is definitely not crazy. That woman is definitely the kind of woman that I want to go out with. Like, I don't know what are these other men thinking, but I'm going to go ahead and rescue her because she has definitely been having a really bad time with these other unfair men. Like, is this crazy? And I, I guess the only excuse that I can have for these women is that they're goddamn stupid. You know, that's it. Humans in general, we're just done. And it seems that with the increase in, with the increase in, um, in social medias and, uh, information being out there on the internet, you know, you would think we're less stupid. You will think we know more things now. Wow. If we could go back 30 years, literally, and told people that this shit that is happening today, like literally, or we could just 
record this really quick and show a quick screenshot to people 30 years ago, I don't think they would fucking believe this. It's batshit crazy. Everything is backwards. Let's 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 look at the results. Forget about whether woman woman versus man, who's right, who's wrong. Let's look at this. Let's look at this one thing. 60% of young men are single. 60% of young men are single. And not only are they single, but they're not single by choice. They're single and like not getting laid, you know? And then by statistics, like you can see there's all these stats, Tinder, everything aligned where women are swiping 5% of the time. 5% of the time, guys, really? Like seriously? Seriously, woman? Why? I, I want to know. I want to ask the woman, why? Why are you g this goddamn picky? I mean, I know for a fact you ain't that hot. I know for a fact because most women I see on the street are not that good looking. If I go to a bar, maybe, maybe 10% of the women are hot shit at the most. And these days, I don't even think that's true because women that are hot shit are, uh, and they're not bad shit crazy, they got a man. They got a man because they're not stupid. They know, I told myself, um, I started a little late in the game, but by the time I was 25, I was like, uh-uh. No, I I need to get a man now and find the man that I'm going to marry. Like, that's it. Like, my man that I get ready, this, this is going to be it. This is going to be my man for the rest of my life. I've been taking some notes, guys. I've been watching your guys' channels. I've been hearing you. I'm here to listen, you know? I'm listening to you guys. I have, I have brothers. Well, I have a brother. But I also have uh, friends, guy friends. I have a lot of guy friends, you know, and um, I love them. Like they, you know, um, I feel like men. I, I I learned to realize that men, as in as in their their nature, they are very loving. They are very loving creatures. Is I'm I'm seeing everything with like the goggles are off, and I. 100% see what these men are saying on these conversations and what they're saying is that you know um what is this what is this guy, one guy said pretty much like women go for a guy that has you know this career or the success that's going to give him this lifestyle and when that doesn't happen they leave they leave the relationship but men men want women men love women will accept women with or without a career, with or without money, with or without success. What does that tell you? What does that tell you about women? We're fucking shit. We're fucking materialistic. Our principles are batshit backwards. We base our happiness off of like how much money we have, how much money our man has, how much success he has. You know, and in and, and the crazy, and we're the most hypocritical. All these crazy movements are mainly created by by women, by radical. Uh, most of the radicals, a lot of them are women. Um, if they're not women, they're they're gay, you know, or some type of LGBTQ. How are women not seeing this? Like, like seriously, I I want to understand. Help me, help me understand. What is that you guys are not seeing about what really matters in this life? saying that they want they want taller men because they want to feel small. But then they go and make these movements about how they feel rejected, they feel discriminated by their size. But they take everything at discrimination. Ma'am, you don't fit in an airplane. You need to buy two seats. Oh, that's discrimination. A lot of these women, yeah, they're fat, but oh no, no, they want a hot man. Swiping only 5% of the time to Tinder. And it's like none of them are dating. Like there's so many examples of these guys literally saying like this girl could get guys definitely there will be more than one guy trying to date this girl however she is the one that doesn't want to date just anyone that and also the fact that the men that she is dating was like oh they goes me da 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 what are you doing something you're doing something set them off on that first date you said something that gave them that weird vibe because you're not aware of yourself. You're not being self-aware. Uh, I wrote down some notes about the 
stuff that I've been seeing online the, of these different videos. And, you know, it's just insane about how these are, in a nutshell, the reasons why men don't trust women. Uh, most women look down on most men. They have unrealistic requisites, extremely high standards that they themselves don't even offer. But they'll still break the rules for the hot guys. You know what they say, like, they'll, they'll break the rules for Chad. But they make, they make you know, all the other guys wait. But they'll sleep with Chad on the first night. Like, that's the, that's the kind of shit that you guys are doing. And it is true. I have a quick little story at the end of this. Women are promiscuous. They sleep around but blame men for hooking up with good-looking girls. Men would not be able to sleep around with, you know, younger, hotter girls if there wasn't younger, hotter girls to sleep around with empowering woman i'm not a sexual object that i die but i should be able to have sex with you know whoever i want without being seen you know objectified and that which one is it do you want to be sexualized or do you not want to be sexualized and why is sleeping around all of a sudden a good thing for you you should see the comment section like oh my god these women literally don't get it they're just fighting anyone that goes against their ideology why why are you listening? This is what men want. What part of it you don't understand. So yeah, pretty much women having double standards. They can ask for all these things, but God forbid men ask for these things or want these things out of a woman. Oh, they're misogynist. They always belittle them. They use all these phrases and all these buzzwords to shut them down. You shut up, you misogynist. You... 90% of women chase starting divorce and instead of working things out. Only fans. <laughs> women having only fans and still expect to have a man. Like, is this so sad? I definitely have to make a, a video about that. But men, please stop giving your money to these freaking horrible, horrible women. You, you are embracing this. You are enabling this behavior of these toxic women. You need to talk to your daughters. Teach them not to be this way. Just remembering today about this one friend that we have, and uh, actually, because now that the the blind is off, I can see all these. I'm like, oh my god, no wonder, no wonder, no wonder. And there was this guy that that he was such a sweet guy, really hardworking, everything. I guess got uh, his girlfriend pregnant young, and they had three kids back to back. You know, uh, whose fault is that? I don't know, probably if they didn't want to have a kid, you know, both of them should have been careful. But definitely the woman should have been using some kind of protection and stuff like that if they didn't want to have three kids back to back, but they did. And a few years after that, um, she decides that she was no longer happy in the relationship, that she wanted to, you know, try something out or figure things out or whatever. And she was still in her early 20s, young, so... I guess a lot of women go through that stage, but that's because they're not raised, right? They're not being taught that it's like, bitch, you got a partner, you have a family, you need to find a way to work things out with this partner. Just because there's other options out there don't mean that these are going to be better options, especially for you that you already have three kids. You need to look after those kids before being anything else. You are a mom. You are their mom. You know, people think that it's like, but my life, they think that there's like the main character of a movie and stuff like that. And it's like, it's way too much ego that this guy, good looking guy, very nice, very, very sweet. Always a good guy. Oh my God. Like it's still, now that I look back into like all these things that I've been seen, it's like, man, what a nice guy, dude. And um, after she decides to leave him or sort of half-ass break the relationship, she was still living in his apartment. Just kind of like being together but not together. It's kind of like, man, like the shit that man put up with. Sometimes these guys are just way too nice. Some guys are horrible and vicious, but I feel like the majority of guys um, throughout, through the, the brand that we have, we support a lot of skaters and most of them are such sweet kids they're all boys in there it isn't funny how like the girls are the harder well there's also less uh, skater girls but the girls are some of them like the harder ones to really to really reach out to i really play hard to get you know less grateful to receive things and they're more like they want more and the men are always so grateful for anything that we give them they're so grateful they're always posting things for us they're just they're they just really put an effort and yeah we have a problem across 
quite a, a few bad apples, people that are, ex, that are complete opposite, extremely ungrateful. But I can see that that's because they're a brain, you know, how they were raised. I want to make a, another video of just reacting to a lot of these comments and a lot of these other videos and just, you know, let me know what you want to hear. Point on my, my three points that I want to take home is that, you know, women need to stop demanding and start listening. Uh, men need to focus on themselves and start um, start having standards and boundaries, please, so that you don't get manipulated by them and be able to see the red flags, uh, the red flags as well. So if women don't start being more humble and less selfish, I don't see this getting any better. I really hope that uh, this helped you in any ways and there's anything you want to get out of your chest, any story that you want me to share in my channel, please feel free to leave it on the comments or send me an email. And let me know that you sent me an email in the comments because I haven't really been checking my emails lately. I hope you guys, this helped you guys in any way and I will be seeing you guys on the next video. Peace. I can taste.